Hi everyone. I have to see you guys. Annyeong. Annyeong. <gasps> Sonia, you're the first today. Sonia, annyeong. Vanishika, annyeong. Paluna, hello, annyeong. Sonia, annyeong. <laughs> Sign up! Annyeong! Sign up! Tamina! Annyeong! Tamina! Alexander! Annyeong! Limino! Hi! Annyeong! Hi! Diwali! Ah! It's a Indian... Uh, it's a... It's a big festival in India, right? It's a Deepavali. As I remember, it's a light festival. Happy Diwali! Ah, annyeong, Anish, annyeong. Selena, annyeonghaseyo, 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 annyeong. Oh, annyeonghaseyo, everyone, hi. How are you? And today, I, I wear myself as like green and yellow. Like a green yellow. What do you think? <laughs> I try to, um, wear myself like different every day and today it's like yellow and green today Victoria hi Victoria Mirka oh Victoria Mi Victoria <laughs> Victoria Mirka oh hi <laughs> oh my god hi Victoria Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> hi. Rajat, hi. Tamina, Veronica, Moralia. You look so cute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Every each, hi. Hi. Sonia, festival, right? Oh my god, you know about Deep Love. Yeah, I know about that. I read it in an article a few days ago and I knew that. Like, um, it, there is like an uh, English article in Korea and then there was a very big article about Deepavali, so I knew about that. Yeah, and then I, yeah, and then after I heard about it, and I light, I lighted on my candle and celebrated by myself. Yeah, it was by myself, but I actually celebrated in Korea, Deepavali. It's a light festival but I've never experienced that the light festival but uh it's like a there's a festival of light mm, yeah it's a light festival I knew that ah Vajika Hengbukan Diwali Hengbukan Diwali you reach nice to meet you nice to meet you Aparana. Happy Diwali! We celebrate this festival in India. Do Korea celebrate Diwali over there? Oh, we don't have Diwali. Um, there, uh, we don't celebrate life festival. We have life festival, but it's like a very small one, but it's not national holiday. So, um, Korea, I know Diwali, but not many people know about Diwali. Diwali. But it's Diwali or Diwali? As I know, it's like Deepavali, Indian Life Festival. What is the right term? Yeah, I don't know. Ah, uh, today is Children's Day. Sonia, today is Children's Day? So in India, it's Children's Day and Deepavali, Diwali together? Wow, that's big day. Happy Children's Day. Happy Children's Day. In Korea, we have Children's Day also, but it's in May 5th. So it's like way before, it's around spring. But it's so, uh, right now, it's November. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, that's wow. Happy Diwali, Selena. Purple starlight, hi, annyeong. Dilip, annyeong, annyeong, dilip. 
<laughs> oh, how Diwali Rajab Diwali. Ah, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Thank you for saying that I'm cute. I'm on Risha from India. Risha, hi. Hi. Happy Diwa Diwali. Light. Light day. Diwali. Oh. Arisha, annyeong. Don't be sorry. It's okay. It's just, I just started. Selena, many loves and support from Nepal. Oh, you're from Nepal. Wow, hi. Chanaka, hello teacher. Annyeong, Chanaka. Arisha, annyeong. Mary Dawn, Anjay. Hello, I'm new. You're a new student. New friend, annyeong. Arisha, I've been missing many live classes and each classes are important to me. We've done, like, in live classes, I'm doing, like, a classes. And the, the previous, previous one was present tense, so right now. And then the last one was past tense. So it was like, a, I did something. So it was past. And today we're going to learn future tense. But if you haven't had the previous lessons, you can catch up uh, in my YouTube channel because I already uploaded. So you can catch it. And then you can make sentences. And oh my God, it reach. Sonia, both are same. Ah, so Diwali and Dipavali are the same word. I got it. Okay, I got it. I'm so excited. So it's a light day. Okay, so um, it's a light day. So how if I want to celebrate myself, how can I do that? Just light the candle. That's okay. Light the candle and that it, that's it. That's it. Ah, uh, both Diwali and Deepavali are the same. How many festivals do you guys have in Korea? There are a lot, I can say, but I can say at least one day in a month. So like one or two days. So we have a Children's Day, we have Mother Father's Day. So in Korea, we celebrate mom and dad together. So it's a parent's day and we have a teacher's day and we have a uh, Hangul day. So the day Hangul invented. And uh, we have many days. Yeah. But in November, we don't have. Mm -mm. November, we don't have. December, we have Christmas, like always Christmas. And yeah, I think no, in like this month and next month, we don't have very special, special holiday only Christmas, I guess. Yeah. And Diwali, ah, a piranha. Diwali in English. Ah, Diwali is English and Dipawali is Hindi. Oh, I got it. No, I got it because in my article, there was Dipawali. So I just knew as Dipawali. Oh, Diwali. Diwali is English. Okay, I got it. Mm, thank you. Tamina, it's Diwali. Ah, correct. Okay. <laughs> ZXY, Nobita, Army, Army. <laughs> Selena, how many loves and support from Nepal? Thank you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Arisha, I'm so happy that I'm now a permanent member of this beautiful Haley family. Thank you. You're a permanent member. All, all you guys are permanent because I, I doing this live for a, like a month right now. Like a, I did it like um two over two months and then I feel like I'm connecting with you more than only in the YouTube channel. And right now I, I can read some names right now and then it's very familiar to me. Some names are very familiar and then you're, it feels like um, you're my family. And then when I, and I recognize that, oh, I miss someone. And then if if you have if you don't come here right now, I feel like, oh, what's happened? Like, what happened? I feel like I'm, I'm a little bit worried. Yeah. Tamina, on you said that you will teach me how to write. I will meet BTS in Korean. <laughs> okay, so we're going to learn the future tense and make sentences about future tense. So 
if you have if you have any anything that you want to uh, get or you want to do in the future and that we can make sentences for example as I wrote in the light in the notice yeah you can make the sentence I will meet BTS today okay we can make the sentences and then like these days it's 2020 and it's end of the year right so 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 I love writing diary actually I love writing diary and then I and then in this time, it's November and December, right? So it's end of the year and I feel like I need some diary for 2021, right? So in Korea, we have Starbucks and then Starbucks are making the diary for 2021. And then if I have, I don't know about the other countries like in, but in Korea, if there is a, like a festival, like it's like an event, which is um, if you have like 17, 17 coffee, if you have 17 coffees and then they give you the diary. Can you believe that? 17 coffees. If you drink 17 coffees and then they will give you the diary. And then I'm really, really eager to learn, like get the diary. And then, thanks my friend. And then I drink a little, some, and then I got a diary for next year. And then I'm gonna write the future tense, like a sentence for, I want to write the wishes to the, uh, of 2021. So I'm gonna write it tonight. I'm gonna write it tonight. So if you learn these sentences like future tense and the mix sentences and then I hope that you're gonna write that uh, I want to meet, I will meet BTS. I will listen to BTS songs. You can write those sentences in your diary, new diary. And then I'm gonna show you, I want to show you my new diary for 2021. Are you, do you wanna see it too? Do you wanna see it? I got the diary from the Starbucks for next year and then I'm gonna show you. Please wait for me. Please. Ta-da! This is a diary for 2021. So this is this is a Starbucks diary and I really love the quality of Starbucks diary. I've used it like a few years ago and it was really really good. I feel like um, some diaries when I wrote it and then I in the like um, uh, November and December time so when I use it uh, almost like a year and then they're like worn out and then I cannot use it anymore because it's just all torn down it's like the boop 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 like this so I can like I feel like oh this is not really good when I use in the end of the year I feel like that mm, it's not good but when I use it in like like a few years ago, like I used Starbucks Diary and then it was really good. At the end of the year, it's really, really, really good. Still the same. So in this year, I really wanted to buy, uh, I really wanted to get the Starbucks Diary and then I got it. So I'm gonna show you here. So tonight I'm gonna write the future tense sentences in this diary. So I want to write my future wishes in here of next year so i hope that after this class after this class you can write the future tense future tense and then you can write the sentences right and then write your wishes in the diary okay so i'm gonna show you so this is the diary so this is the diary and this is um starbucks and this is armani something but they reuse the fabric of the armani the brand so so all the colors of this diary is different something is like right now this one is like dark dark uh blue like uh jeans like dark jeans uh color but something some other thing is like a really black 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 and something is like literally light so it's all different so it's very unique i love that part and then there is like a circle in the middle so i i think it's a representing of the starbucks brand 
So this is a Starbucks diary and then I'm gonna show you inside. So in here, it's a Korean diary and uh, this is so funny. In case of loss, please return to someone. So it would be Haley, right? And then as a reward, some cups of Starbucks Americano. So I have to write it down if I wanted to get it when I lost it. So it's so funny. And then there is like a personal data and like a January and like um, the month. And then you can write it the days. So I really love writing the diary because I love like writing and then I love memo, doing the memo. So I love this part. And then the other is like um, capture ideas. So sometimes when I see, actually, <gasps> when I see the 달려라 방탄, you know that? 달려라 방탄 소년단? Uh, so it's like a running BTS. I don't know the the name in English, but it's like a they come. It's like a um the broadcasting. So uh, yeah, I don't know how to say it, but it's like a BTS uh air BTS air. Is it right? 달려라 방탄 in Korea. So I I saw it and then I feel really I and then I saw it and it's so exciting. It's so so funny and then. Some, some words they're using is really inspiring me to make a video, make a, like a class, make some, I want to teach you the expression they're using. Really, really interesting. So Korean. So I really wanted to teach you. So I wrote it in my diary right now, 2020 diary. Like, well, oh, maybe this, this expression, that expression, I wrote it. So maybe next time I will make the video about the, the BTS video, uh, the BTS expression they used. So yeah, so I love the diary that I'm using. So in 2021, I am going to write the make the videos uh, in a better quality. So I'm going to write those future tense. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's, it's called Run BTS. <gasps> it is Run BTS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in Korea, 달려라, 달려다, 달리다 is run. So, 달려라 BTS. 달려라, oh, that makes sense. Mm. Run BTS. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, my wish is I will go to Seoul. I will go to BTS concert. <gasps> oh my god. I mean, I look, you know, I, don't, I, wanna, I wanna tell you something. Like, my, one of my students, is the biggest 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 bts fan she is the biggest bts fan she is like when she comes to my class and then like actually i'm i'm an english teacher in korea so she is my student and then she's really cute and then she's like oh i i i i i reserve the bts pop-up store and then like oh Oh my god, you did it? And then she said, yeah, I'm going to the BTS pop-up store. And when I searched it, there was a BTS pop-up store in a Gangnam. Gangnam, you know, the Gangnam station, uh, Gangnam area, so which is like a Gangnam style Gangnam. And it was really, really big. And then I tried to go there, but every tickets are sold every time. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all all just all booked so i can't get the ticket but she got it so she went to the bts pop-up store in korea so when you come to korea you should go there you should you really should go there <gasps> ah do you live in seoul because if you are then i will visit definitely meet you <laughs> actually i'm not living in seoul but i'm kind of close but not living in seoul actually Red Monster J Hall, Singapore. Oh, Singapore just opened today. The BTS store. So it's not only Seoul; it's all over the world. Oh my God! And she said, my student said she got a Tumblr from the BTS Pop Up Store because she's a student, so she don't have much money, so she couldn't buy the the whole things. But she said, oh, everything is so expensive. But she was really excited to go to the pop up store and see everything. And then she shared uh, this kind of like army spirit with her friends. And I feel like oh, that is so good idea. That is a good idea. 
Yeah, she was really cute. She went to the polo store in Seoul. And then I remember like uh, January. Well, as I remember, it was January. This year, January? January? Like it was very cold winter. The last winter. And then I was walking in the Gangnam station. I went to the Gangnam station. It was uh, before virus. So I went to the Gangnam station and then there were, I was walking and some, some, someone like, like called me and I'm like, mm, ne? And then like she was a uh, international people. She was a foreigner and she asked me, oh, I don't know how to go to the public store. And I was like, oh my god, you should go there, there, there. I I taught her how to get to the public store. So it was really funny, and then I'm really happy to meet them. And then yeah, and then my students were going to the same, and it was so interesting. Yeah. I saw the BTS store review in YouTube. Oh, BTS, I should, I should watch it too. I should watch it. <laughs> ah, oh, who's the birthday? Hi, happy birthday. Oh, oh, who's the birthday? Uh-uh. I have a question. Why do most Koreans live in apartment? Why don't just save money and buy their own house and lots and they're never rent forever. Oh, so you have a question like why Korean live in apartment? Okay, so I'm gonna give you that. Uh, so I'm gonna answer that and then I'm gonna start this lesson, okay? So in Korea, for me actually, I live in Korea, uh, apartment too. It is because um, like, I don't remember the exact number of people who live in Korea, like Seoul, but it like, Korea is like, like, for example, Korea is like this, but uh, we're separated. So we're, this is the southern part and Seoul and this part, Seoul and the Gyeonggi-do, which is a bigger part of the Seoul. And this part, most of the Korean are living in this part. So it's very, very, very populated. So very concentrated. We're living in a very small, area and a lots of lots of lots of people so we have we cannot have the houses because the 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 land is so expensive and then we cannot afford it so and so many people have to live in a very small places so we have to make it up or up 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 up, up. so it makes the apartment so people live in apartment a lot um and when you come to Korea and then after this virus, you will come to Korea, right? You will come to Korea and then you will see, oh my God, Korea is so, so very, so many high buildings. This is because Korea is very developed country. So they want to make a bigger, bigger, bigger buildings. But on the other hand, Korea, it's a Seoul and Gyeonggi-do, Seoul and Gyeonggi-do, which is like, almost like a capital part of Korea is very populated. So many people live in there, so we cannot make our own house. It's because it's just on the first floor. First floor and it's all separated, but we don't have that area. So we have to live in a up, 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 up. So in my house, we only live like my family, but when I count the whole buildings, we have 20, uh, 19th floor, 19th floor of apartment. So maybe, and then there is like another part. And so it's very, very populated in a very, in the same area. So some people who don't want to live in this populated area, they want to go out in the suburban, in the outside of Seoul. But when we want to have a, like a good job, like a job, like occupation, good occupation, good job, like a, and then we have, in Seoul, we have good, uh, uh, like a department store, very good supermarket. So it's very good to live. So most of the people are living in apartment. Yeah. So that is the one culture of Korea. Anyway, so this is a one culture thing about, <laughs> One culture thing about Korea and then I'm so excited I was so excited talking about the BTS and apartments so I talk a lot so I will a little bit slow down and then we're going to start the lesson is it okay everyone is it okay 
Okay, dokey. Okay, dokey. So let's start the class for today. So I, uh, I'm going to come again like a video. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to come. Hi, I'm your Korean friend Haley. So in this time, we're going to learn future tense and make sentences. We're going to make sentences so that you can make your wishes of 2021 in your diary. Okay, write your wishes in your diary. And then tonight, I'm going to do that too. Okay, let's make the wishes in the diary. Got it? Good. So the first, we're going to learn the eight verbs and then we're going to make these verbs in a future tense okay i'm gonna tell you the rules of how to make the future tense and then we're going to make the sentences which is we're definitely going to make i will meet bts okay <laughs> i really wanted to meet them actually <laughs> so we're going to make the uh, sentences later, but before then we have to learn the very basic things, right? So we're going to do that. It will be very easy with me, Haley. So focus on me, please. And then let's start. So to give, give, give is 주다, 주다. Give is 주다. So 주다, 주다, give. And then to study, we study Korean together, right? Study, 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 study is 공부하다, 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 공부하다. Okay, good. And then to meet, we meet, we meet, right? We meet. And the meet is 만나다, 만나다, 만. 만나다, 만나다, okay? And then to make, make something, make, make, I make something. Make is 만들다, 만들다, okay? 만들다, 만들다. Good job, everyone. So let's read it, the first line together, okay? Let's read it together because it's live, so we have to pronounce it. Okay, let's talk. So, to give, 주다, 주다, 공부하다, 공부하다, 만나다, we meet, 만나다, and to make, 만들다, 만들다. Good job, everyone! And let's go to the second part, okay? To wear, wear, I wear, wear is 입다. 입다, okay? 입다, 입다. And to get, get, I get it. Get is 받다, 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 okay? And then to wear, oh my god, to wear. I wrote the same one. I'm so sorry, everyone, okay? I'm so sorry. I'm gonna erase it and then I'm gonna write it another one. Okay, what can I? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know that. Oh my 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 face become red. I'm so shy. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. To read. Oh my god, to read. Read is okay, be natural, be natural. And then to read is ita. Mm, I read a book. 읽다. 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 So when we say 읽다, there is 리을 and 기억 together in the last consonants. 읽다. 읽다. Okay? And then to fall in love. Fall in love is... Do you know the word love? Love is... What is love? It's 사랑. 사랑, right? 사랑. And fall in love is... 사랑의 사랑 First, 사랑에 빠지다 It's a little bit long because it's fall in love. It's a little bit long. So, 사랑에 빠지다 빠지다 is fall. And love is 사랑, right? So, 사랑에 빠지다 사랑에 빠지다, okay? And then, let's read the second part together, okay? Let's read it together. To wear, 
다 입다 you have to talk okay and to get get is 받다 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 and then to read is 읽다 읽다 and then to fall in love to fall in love is 사랑에 빠지다 so there is double double p right so it has to be Your lips have to do b, b, like a bubble. B, 빠지다. 사랑에 빠지다. Okay, 사랑에 빠지다. Good job, everyone. And then I am going to tell you how to make the future tense. What is the rule of future tense? I'm going to tell you that, okay? So let's make the future tense. But before then, I taught you this rule this rule a lot of times but I'm gonna tell you the very basic rule of Korean verb because when you see all the verbs in here what is the common thing what is it it ends with the ta da ta 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 right it is called the dictionary form dictionary form for example uh, I'm gonna write 주다 in here 주다 first in here and then Ta part is a dictionary form. Uh, this juda is dictionary form. For example, what does it mean? Because when you find the juda, oh, you are curious. What is the meaning of juda? And then if you find the dictionary, and then you have to find the juda, juda. But when we say to give, when we say it, we don't say juda. 저는 주다. We don't say that. 저는 줍니다. We change it. Okay, but there is a two parts, which is ta is a grammatical part, grammatical part. So it is changeable. It is grammatical because it's a just a dictionary form. So when you say a uh, present tense, it is it's change. Okay, and then a uh, past tense, it's change. Okay, this change is changeable, but chu this part is the meaning part. Chu is the meaning part, so it's not change. It's not, it's not changeable. But this is dictionary form, so this is changeable. Okay, you got it? So in short, ta is changed. When we pa when we change like a past tense, future tense, and present tense, ta is changed, changed, changed. But chu is the meaning part, so it doesn't change. Got it? Okay. And then we're going to learn the future tense. Got it? Okay, are you following with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the future tense, I'm going to tell you how to make the future tense. There are two ways of making the future tense because, and then I'm going to tell you that. So there are two things and then you have to choose one, okay? So when you choose this, there is a rule with vowel or lear and ends with consonants. Okay, so there are two things to make a future tense. The first one is lear coil and then the second one is lear coil and there is an option. When it the last part of meaning part, the last the last syllable of meaning part is ends with vowel or lear, and then you have to put lear coil. And then when ends with consonants, you have to put coil. For example, let's see. So let's see chu that part. Chu that part. And then the first thing we have to delete the dictionary form. Okay, delete the dictionary form and then look at here. This is a meaning form, right? So we're going to delete the ta, 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 okay? Because it's a dictionary form. It doesn't have any meaning. It's just a dictionary form. And then we're going to make a future tense. So we're going to delete the dictionary form and then we're going to put either of this either one of these, okay? And then it ends with vowel or lear. Vowel, it ends with the vowel, right? And then we have to put lear coil, okay? And then when you see, oh, 
the, the meaning part of this ends with the consonants, right? When ends with consonants, you have to put the 을 거예요. Got it? Okay, so this one, we delete the dictionary form, and then the last one is 우, so which is vowel, okay? And then we have to put 을 거예요. So we have to put 줄 거예요. 줄 거예요. Okay? 줄 거예요. And then let's see. 더 공부하다. 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 The last part, the last syllable ends with the vowel, right? It ends with the vowel. And then let's see. Oh, it ends with the vowel. We have to put 리을 거예요. So, 공부할 거예요. 공부할 거예요. Okay? So, when you want to say, I will give, and then, 저는 줄 거예요. 저는 줄 거예요. Okay? And, I will study. I will study. And then, how can you say that? 저는 공부할 거예요. 저는 공부할 거예요. When mom, like, like for like, it happens in the world all the time. Like, when I was young, and then I have to study, right? Oh, but I don't want to. And then I was doing the games, right? I was doing the game, and then mom knocked the door. Aren't you going to study? No study? And then, oh, I will study. And then, how can you say that? 저는 공부할 거예요. I will study 공부할 거예요, okay? Okay, yeah. It happens in the world, right? Not only me, but you also, right? It happens in the world. Yeah. I heard it many times when I was young. Yeah. And then let's move on. 만나다. So we delete the ta part because it's a grammatical part. It's a dictionary form. And then we have to put 만나. Oh, it ends with the vowel, right? It ends with the vowel. So let's see. Vowel. 리을 거예요. So, 만날 거예요. Okay? So, we have to put the 리을 in the here. Okay? 만날 거예요. And then let's go to the make part. So, 만들다. So, we delete the top part because it's a dictionary form. We have to delete it. And then, we are going to see. Okay, it ends with the 리을. It ends with the Lear ends with lear and then lear goyo. Oh, Haley, how can I put the lear in here? Because there is also lear. So we're not going to put the lear because it's same. So we don't have to put the lear again. So it's only 만들 거예요. Okay? 만들 거예요. They already have lear in here, so we don't have to put the lear. Okay? It already have. So 만들 거예요. Okay? Good job, everyone. So, this line is an example of 리을 거예요. Ends with vowel or 리을. Okay? And then, let's pronounce it together. Let's pronounce it together. Okay? To will give is 줄 거예요. 줄 거예요. Will study. Will study. 공부할 거예요. 공부할 거예요. And then, I will meet. Will meet. 만날 거예요. 만날 거예요. And will make. 만들 거예요. 만들 거예요. 만들 거예요. Okay? You guys are doing very nice. Very nice. And then we're going to go this part. Okay? Let's see. So we deleted the ta 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 because it's a dictionary form. It doesn't make any, it doesn't have any meaning. We're going to put the future tense, okay? So future tense, to wear, will wear. How can I say that? Oh, and then, oh, let's see the this part. It's a, and with p, which is consonants, right? So let's see. And with consonants, we have to put the 을 거예요. So, 입을 거예요. Okay, 입을 거예요. 입을 거예요. Will wear. 입을 거예요. Okay, and then, oh, what about the, the, is there a space bar in here? No, it's connected. 
Okay, it's connected, but there is a space bar in this here. Okay, okay. And then to get, will get. How can you say will get? It, path, oh, it ends with 지금, which is a consonant. So we have to choose 을 거예요. So, 받을 거예요. 받을 거예요. We'll get. 받을 거예요. I will get. For example, I will get the BTS Tumblr. How can you say that? I will get BTS Tumblr. 저는 BTS Tumblr 받을 거예요. 받을 거예요. 저는 BTS Tumblr 받을 거예요. Because we put the uh, the object, which is the... Uh, I'm going to tell you in the sentence, okay? So, there is a difference of sentences. But I'm going to tell you in the last part. And then, 읽다, which is read. So, how can you say, will read? Will read is, let's see. Oh, we delete the top because it's a dictionary form. And then, there is 리을 and 기억, which is a consonant. And then, let's see. Consonants, right? 을 거예요. 읽을 거예요. I will read. 저는 읽을 거예요. 저는 읽을 거예요. Okay? So, I will read. 저는 읽을 거예요. And then let's go to the last part. I will fall, fall in love with um, BTS maybe? Or Blackpink. I love Blackpink too. Yeah. Today I went to the stationery store, so which is like they're selling the pan, and then there is like love sick girl. There is a song, and I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was listening. <laughs> so Korean love Blackpink too. Yeah. So maybe you guys are a fan of BT, uh, BTS and also Blackpink. Yeah, Blackpinks are so attractive. They're very beautiful, and then. Uh, it's another story of the lesson, but the 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 blank pink is the model of the lens in Korea. So, uh, but in Korea we have so many lenses stores, so they're always in the lens lens uh, model. So they're so beautiful. They're really beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, so 사랑에 빠지다, fall in love, and then how can you say will fall in love? We're going to say, oh, okay, so. We delete the top part, right? We delete the top part and then, oh, it ends with the E. So, oh, it's a vowel. So, oh, it's not consonant, it's a vowel. So, 리을 거예요. So, 빠질 거예요. Okay? 빠질 거예요. Got it? Okay, so we finished the second line also. So, we're going to read it together and then let's move on, okay? So, to will wear is, so let's talk together, okay? 입을 거예요, will wear. 입을 거예요. And then, will get. 받을 거예요, 받을 거예요. Are you following with me? Okay. And then, will read. 읽을 거예요, 읽을 거예요. And then, fall in love. Will fall in love is, 사랑해. 빠질 거예요. 사랑에 빠질 거예요. Good job, everyone. Good job. We made the eight words in the future tense. That's amazing. It's we're we're almost the more than half progress of the diary writing. Okay, so let's move on to the sentence. I will make the sentence that I, I, I wanted to teach you and then I will get some sentences that you want to write, okay? And then let's start. So the first thing, the first thing I want to write is the very easy one. I will study. I will study. So I will study. How can you say this? I is 저는. 저는. Will study is 공부할 거예요. 공부할 거예요. 저는 공부할 거예요. Okay? And then, how can you say, I will study Korean? I will study Korean. I will study Korean. In here, in Korea, we put the verbs parts in the last. So, the Korean has to be in the middle of 
I and will study. Okay, so I will study Korean. 저는 Korean in Korean is 한국어. So 저는 한국어. And then we put the l. 한국어를 공부할 거예요. I will study Korean. So if you, if your wishes for 2021 is I will study Korean, and then I will talk to BTS in Korea, and then write this. 저는 한국어를 공부할 거예요. 저는 한국어를 공부할 거예요. Maybe this will be your wishes, okay? <laughs> okay, and then I'll make another one. We will meet BTS. We will meet. We. Okay? We will meet BTS. So, we're going to make this. We will meet BTS. We will meet BTS, okay? Then let's write it. We. We is 저희는. 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 BTS has to be here. And the will meet is here, okay? BTS를, BTS를, we have to put the 를, okay? BTS를, will meet, 만날 거예요. 만날 거예요, okay? Huh? Oh my god! We will meet BTS, how can you say that? Let's say it loud, let's say it loud. 저희는, 저희는, we, BTS를 만날 거예요. We will meet BTS. Ah, oh, when I see the BTS video, because they're uploading the, pre, like, the recent one was Jimmy in live, right? Oh, I really love, I really love that. And then I love, I personally love Jin a lot. Like, Jean is so cute, and then I love when he said, oh, I'm a worldwide handsome. He's so cute. So, I love uh, Jean, and RM, and J-Hope, and Jimin. Actually, I love everyone. And then, like, yeah, 저희는, so, we will meet BTS, right? We will meet BTS. So, 저희는 BTS를 만날 거예요. Okay? 만날 거예요. Let's write it in the diary. Let's write it in the diary, okay? It's our... Our future wish for 2021, okay? Okie dokie. And then we're going to, I'm going to get some, uh, some sentences that you want to write. I'm going to write the sentences that you are going to write in the diary, okay? So what, what sentence do you want to write in your diary? I will get three sentences, okay? I'll get three sentences. So I will pick some sentences that is, uh, easy for you to learn Korean and then easy to write it down, okay? So I'll get three sentences and then, yeah, okay? Three sentences. I will erase this part and then we're going to write our sentences, okay? So please write down what the, the sentences that you want to write in your diary, okay? I'm gonna write it down, I'm gonna erase it here. What sentences you want to write in your diary? Please let me know and then I'm going to write it in the board. We're going to study with that sentences too. Okay? Okie dokie. I'll erase this part too. What sentences you want to write in your diary? With future tense. I will do something or we will do something. Okay? Let's see. Oh, I will watch movie. That's a very good, that's a very good sentence. The so first, I will watch movie. I will watch movie. And then the other sentence is... <laughs> I will listen to music. I will listen to music. Uh, okay, so Jordan said, I will listen to music, but we have the same subject. So I will write this one to uh, Jordan. So Jordan, 
Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Will, I will write Jordan, will listen to music. And then the third one. Uh, the third one. I'm, I'm going to erase this part. Oh, I want to go to Seoul. So in a future tense, I will go to Seoul. Is that okay? I will go to school. Uh, to Seoul. I will go to Seoul. But in here, I'm going to say, she will go to Seoul. Okay? Okay. So, let's write these three sentences that you asked me to write it down in your diary. So I'm going to make these three sentences in a future test, okay? So the first thing we have to know is the verbs, right? So watch, watch in Korean is 보다, 보다, okay? 보다, 보다. And then let's see, 보다. So we're going to delete the top parts, right? Because it's a dictionary form, so we have to change it in the future tense, right? And then 보다, and it ends with the 우, right? So it's a vowel. So we have to, it, it's a vowel, so we are going to put 리을 거예요, right? 리을 거예요, got it? Okay, so it will be 볼 거예요. And movie is 영화, so I'm going to write it down. I will watch movie. So, I, 저는, I is 저는. Movie has to be here, okay? So, 영, movie is 영화. 영화. And then we have to put the 를, 를. 영화를 볼 거예요. Okay? 저는. 영화를 볼 거예요. Okay? I will watch movie. 저는 영화를 볼 거예요. Good job, everyone. Good. And then Jordan will listen to music. Jordan will listen to music. And then the first thing we have to know is listen. Listen in Korean. Listen is, um, I'm going to write it here. I'm going to write it here. Is 듣다. 듣다. Okay? 듣다. Actually, this is irregular. Irregular. So I'm going to tell you. Tutta. And then we're going to delete. Um, we're going to delete the ta, right? Because it's a dictionary form. And then it's a tut, right? And then it ends with the tigut. So which is a consonant, right? It ends with a consonant. So we have to put the ul koyo. Ul koyo. So we're ul koyo. Right? But this is an irregular, so we have to delete this tigut and we are going to change it with the lir. Lir. This is an irregular, so we have to memorize it. It's irregular. So we change it to the koyo. Okay? koyo. So we're going to write it. Jordan. 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 So in Korea, it's a Jordan. Okay? It's not Jordan. It's Jordan. Jordan. Then, 조던은 to music. Music is 음악. 음악을 음악을 들을 거예요. 들을 거예요. Okay? 조던은 음악을 들을 거예요. Okay? So, when you see these two sentences, when you see these two sentences, there is a different part, actually, because, oh, why this is nun and this is un? It's different, right? I'm going to tell you this in a very short, because to, there is nothing in the last consonants, right? And then it comes with the nun, okay? But jo ton, there is a nian in the previous syllable, right? So we have to put the un, okay? 
because there is nothing in here. We have to put the nin and there is something in here, so we have to put the un. Okay? And then let's see in here. This is yongwa and then this is uma Why is it different? Because there is nothing in here, so we have to put the l. Okay? But there is something in here, right? So we have to put the ul. There is a difference of this part. Okay? So there is a very good example of the difference. Okay? And then we're going to write the last sentence, which is she will go to Seoul. She will go to Seoul. Okay. So she in Korean is 그녀. 그녀는 because there is nothing, so we are going to put the 는. 그녀는 to Seoul. Seoul. Seoul in Korean is 서울. 서울. Okay. 서울. And there is something in here, so we have to put something in here. So we have to put the 을. 서울을. 서울을. And go. Go is 가다. Okay, go is kada, but we're going to delete this ta because it's a dictionary form, and then there's nothing in here. It ends with the a, right? So we have to put the lil koyo. Lil koyo. Lil koyo, so kal koyo. Okay, so 그녀는 서울을 갈 거예요. 갈 거예요. 서울을 갈 거예요. Okay, so let's read three sentences together, okay? These sentences are really meaningful because you guys gave me, you guys gave me those real sentences that you want to write, okay? I love that. <laughs> I will watch movie tonight. 저는 영화를 볼 거예요. And then the second one, Jordan will listen to music. He will listen to music. 조던은 음악을 들을 거예요. And then the last part, she will go to Seoul. You will come to Seoul. You out. She will go to Seoul. 그녀는 서울을 갈 거예요. Okay? Everyone, you make sentences amazing. Okay. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Okie dokie. Oh. Okay, everyone, so this is the last part of today's classes. So in sum up, we are going to sum up, which is we learned the eighth verb in a verb with a dictionary form and then we change it in the future form, right? Future tense. And then we wrote our sentences and we can write it down by ourselves. Okay, so my goal of my classes, my channel's goal is that I don't want you to learn the Korean in a, um, um, I, want, I want you to have the very strict Korean structure. Because when you learn some Korean, only this lesson and that lesson, you don't have the structure. It's hard to get the Korean structure. So I wish, I, I feel like, oh, I wish, the YouTube channel have the very um, system, like um, more structured classes. So I am thinking of that and I wish you to have a structure, like a well-systemed classes. And I'm thinking of that goal and I'm doing that one by one. And I hope you uh, understand my, uh, the, the goal, like uh, my, how can I say? my mission of this channel yeah i have kind of my self mission i want you to learn korean in a very structure like a structure structure because i learned english with that uh progress and then i i really love that i really love english after i got the structure and then i think in korean we don't have that structure much so i wish that you have the structure and then you got korean not that difficult i know korean is difficult but it's not that difficult if you learn in an easy way okay so that's my that's why my classes is like a very 
a little bit longer than the other videos because when I see other videos, they're quite short, short, short. So, wow, they're very effective. But I wish that you can have a very structured classes. So this is why I'm doing this. Yeah, and I hope you like it. And then I hope that you're going to write 2021 wishes in your diary tonight. Okay, and then, yay. <laughs> Kathleen, hi! I just got your, uh, the, how can I say, the message. We really appreciate your patience. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm curious about your granddaughter. How she, is, it, is she doing great? I'm so curious. <laughs> um, uh, Brelly, wow, your way is great. Thank you, Brelly. <laughs> I am. Uh, Disha, thank you so much, Jenny, for helping us throughout. Yeah, I really want to help you learn in Korea. Korean is not that difficult when you do it one by one, and I'm doing by myself to do that. And I'm really happy that you follow this lecture. Yeah, I know learning Korean by yourself is quite difficult. If you don't, it's it's you're doing this by yourself because you love. Korean culture, right? And then I really appreciated that and I'm really happy that I can help you with Korean. Yeah, really, really happy that. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. So, yeah, I'm so happy about that. And then I'm, I'm happy that you are happy with that too. Yeah. Thank you, Oni. Thank you. Today is my birthday, Harshini. <gasps> Today is your birthday. 생일 축하합니다. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, Kim Nuna. That's what I need. I like a well-structured lesson since I'm a teacher myself. Oh, thank you, Haley. You're a teacher. Wow. Wow, wow. That's amazing. I'm so happy that you like it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jordan, I miss you too. Wow, because you've been to my live classes in a, a few weeks and then you guys are bonded. Wow, that's amazing. I feel like I have a family in here. Yeah. Okay. Mary, thank you. Love you. Oh, thank you back. If you have Instagram, please come to my Instagram, which is Korean, like the... The, the, this one. I don't know how to say that in English. I don't know. So it's a Korean something in here and Haley. So if you have uh, if you have Instagram account, please come in here and then I'm gonna upload the pictures of tomorrow family trip in there. So come to my Instagram and then say hi in there too. <laughs> because it's much more easier for me to write the Instagram uh like a uh, comment uh, rather than the youtube it's more uh easier for me to do the communication so if you have an account please come in here and then say hello to me and then um yeah we can communicate more okay how you're doing yes we are your family i have a family in here yeah i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm super happy i feel like i like, even though I have some bad things in my life going on, but I feel like it's really happened. Like, but I feel like, oh, but I have my, f like, I have my YouTube friends. So it's, it's okay. I feel much better when I think about that. So it's really rewarding me. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know how to describe it in English, but yeah, I hope you know my feeling. Yeah. Okay. Harshini, yeah, today's your birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Hoshini. I hope you have a very good day today, especially today you have a very good day. Okay, okay, so it's time to go to bed right now for me to... So I hope you have a very nice day tonight and I'm so happy that you came to my class and see you in the YouTube channel and Instagram and in the next live, okay? I'm doing the live in every Saturday, 11.55 in Korean time, so see you there, okay? I'm going to bed and before I'm going to bed, I will write the diary. So I hope you write the diary in a future tense. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say goodbye. And how can you say goodbye? Like a uh, good night in Korea. 잘 자. 잘 자. 여러분 안녕. 잘 자. 안녕. Bye bye. See you in the next time.